Thank you so much for letting me know. Sorry, I had to update something. Didn't update my microphone. Is that better? You got sound now? There was sound on Instagram, no sound on Facebook. Are we good now, Facebook? Thank you. Thank you. All right. I'll just wait a couple more seconds. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, Casper. Gosh, what a night. What a, what a night have I got for you, beautiful people. Facebook user, just letting you know if you are on Facebook, uh, I don't see your name. So if you are wanting a reading when I do put that uh, request out, you'll have to put your name in the comments. All right. Beautiful. Okay. So we've got enough people. Welcome, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. Um, my apologies. I have not done these readings for three weeks, and there's a really good reason for that. I had to go through a process myself uh, through the times that we're in. I really needed to find my position, meaning I had my own stuff I had to deal with, let alone having to navigate, you know, as a single mum with twins, and I had to really find my place. What do I mean by that is... Um, you know, I had my own stuff, let's just say I had my own stuff right in my face, which I know everybody's got their own version right now. But I had to work out what is it that I need to do to make sure I can show up for people, let alone show up for my children, let alone show up for um, those that I'm, I'm ready to serve. And it took such insight and commitment. Okay, so something really shifted, which I'm going to um, share with you shortly. Genji! Um but the reason why I wrote the word insights before we do the readings is not only am I more committed than ever, right? Those three weeks were so needed for me because I really needed to find my, you can say my mojo, but I needed to find my place. I needed to find me. And what I've noticed with what's playing out there, the story out there, there's so many people getting lost. I even got lost. I acknowledged. Didn't matter how many animals were reaching out to me. I had animals seriously at my door, okay? I had dreams. I had experiences. But you know what? I ended up parking them because what was overcoming me was such a strong force. It was in my face and I was in such overwhelm with my children. I had to go, right, what, what am I meant to do here? How can I break this? I've just come off a four-day water fast. That changed everything. I'm not saying go ahead and fast. You know, I'm not a doctor, but I had to break something really, really, really powerfully for me to be able to readjust and get back into alignment. Having said that, I've also had quite profound dreams and um, insights. And what I can say is with 100% conviction, the story that's playing out there is not only an illusion, but it's designed to really um, break us. It's really designed to break us. And if you've connected with me and you're watching me, then there's a part of you that knows there's something bigger going on. And I've put it up on posts. That is clear as anything right now. There is something much bigger going on. I'm aligned with our mother, okay? She communicates to me. I'm aligned with her and I'm aligned with, with obviously our guides and our animals. What's playing out there, yeah, is part of our devolution or we need to evolve to a place where um, we are connected to our gifts and they knew this time would come. And so all that's playing out there is really designed to take us off course. So what I invite you to do, if any of you are really suffering, if you're lonely, if you're struggling, if you are having trouble finding your place, reach out to me, okay? Because I've, I've shifted the way that I do stuff. I mean, I do readings and I'll be doing them online, but I've always been committed to the women, always. Those that have sat with me in circle know I love running women's circles and I love working with the women. It's the women, men, I know you've got this in your own way, but it's the women that need to be supporting women right now because we are going through our own individual um, shedding and that's something, hand on my heart, I can share and support women with. So if you are going through stuff, reach out to me. All right, let me move on, um, and I'll get to uh, questions uh, when we get through the readings. But what, under, what I wanted to share was, uh, it was about three days ago, I had a very significant dream. And let's just say it wasn't pretty. There's a reason why in the photo, even though it looked like a, an eagle, it's actually not an eagle. For those of you who've seen my post, or my story. It's actually not an eagle. It's actually a turkey vulture. What's a turkey vulture? They're the ones with the pink head um, and the brown body. So they're, they're barren or, or without feathers in, on the head, but they've got beautiful feathers. Anyway, in this dream, uh, I walked into this place where there was actually a, a pair of vultures nesting, okay? And they were right in, in, a, in a space that was so close that you could actually reach up and touch, okay? Now, this area was above a pool of water. Now, I had, I had my children there, 
with me. And my children wanted to reach up to this nest. And I kept on saying, don't touch the nest. Don't scare them. Don't scare them. But they were able to reach the nest. And these vultures didn't do anything. In fact, the vultures were just looking down. And it's almost like they were somewhat amused by the children. They didn't give a shit. Um, and then I had other children come, other children come. And they were all trying to reach the nest. And they all could reach it, even though it was my height. So they would jump and they would reach the nest. And then I woke up and I went, what the fuck? Because it was over a pool of water. It was as if these children were able to reach past the water and reach the nest. It was very, very bizarre. Now, why is this so significant? This is literally when I started my fast and I was shedding and I was breaking a pattern of mine, a habit of mine that I've had as my way of navigating pretty much my whole life. And that was comforting myself with food, right? I'll, I'll own that right here. Why has that been my, my comfort? Well, in the times we're in, I wanted to be able to you know, nourish myself in a way that I could deal with the life that I was living and didn't want to have to deal with certain feelings that were coming up. And so food's just been my go-to, right? Anyway, the fast I started, I had this dream. Why is this significant? Let me explain who the vultures are. So vultures are, you know, you guys know, this, this is not the same energy as an eagle at all. The vultures are ones that literally live off the dead. They live off carrion. They live off dead animals, okay? They actually don't hunt. Believe it or not, um, vultures don't hunt. Not only do they live off the carrion, they stick their whole head in. They stick their whole head in, go straight for the juicy bits. They're able to get in every single piece of nutrition out of that dead carcass and live off it and thrive off it, okay? So to have a pair of turkey vultures in a nest, okay, this symbolized for me that it's really needing for something to be integrated that needs to die, okay, that needs to die in order, right, it was in a nest, in order to be rebirthed, right? Now, the fact that there was a pool of water, the pool of water is our emotions, the pool of water is us navigating the depths of what's difficult for us to really feel right now and, and observe and see and take action on is where we sit in that, that, that water. It was, a, it was a still pool of water. It was not flowing. It was a still pool of water. So what I really got from this dream was not only can I say this with conviction because this is what I'm doing now, but we really need to get to a place where we can integrate and digest a part of us that needs to die. Not literally die, but those of us that are being sovereign, those of us that are choosing to take a stand and stay in our integrity and stay in our alignment with what we feel in our hearts and our souls, we have to somehow integrate and digest something that needs to die of ourselves. We have to have the quote-unquote shamanic death to be able to navigate this, this time we're moving forward because the part of ourselves that we've been until now, it's not the part that's going into this, this next reality or I'll say the next part of the reality that we're in. Because where we're going is we're being shut out of many things. You know, there's only so much I'll say here on, on social media, but we're being shut out of the things that we've been used to, the material world we've been used to, the life that we've been used to. And that's going to require us to let a lot go. It's going to require a lot of us to uh, shed not only how we've been living our lives, the connections we've had with things we've done in our lives, the habits that we've had, some of us, the people that we've had relationships with, it's individual for everybody, but we have to let it go. If you've chosen to stay sovereign, and I don't want to tell you what that means to stay sovereign, it's individual for each of you, but you kind of get my gist. If you've chosen to stay sovereign and you've made that decision and you're 100% going to take that stance, you have to let something go of you. There's going to be a part of it that just has to die and you have to integrate that and digest it and almost be nourished by it, literally like the vultures, okay, and allow for a rebirth to happen. So that was that dream. I just wanted to share that before we go into the readings. The other one that I wanted to quickly highlight, I don't want to take too long, fuck, we're already 10 minutes in, um, was this time last year I had a dream which I shared in, in many social media platforms. Those that have followed me probably remember this. But I had a dream where uh, I was in a tunnel and it was very dark and everyone was naked, including myself. We were all naked. We were in a tunnel. And to my right, there was a Pleiadian woman. And everybody was waiting to be washed. And I remember looking up at the woman and I said, can I put my clothes on? And she said, yes. And so she, everyone in front of me was getting washed. It wasn't me. I was allowed to go into the next part of my dream. And I was taken into a school. And this school was, uh, let's just say, it was a school where there weren't kids around or there weren't people around. There was the principal. That was the only person that was around except for a lovely um, a lovely person I was sitting on his lap. But anyway, there was an, an 
an original elder woman standing in front of me and she bent down and she set fire to the grass, which was a quadrangle. She set the fire to the grass and it went into black serpents going in every direction. And then she looked at me and she said, and that's Pachamama. And I remember thinking to myself in the dream, how is it that, you know, here we've got an original woman who's using the word Pachamama. And Pachamama for me is Mother Earth. It was just what I needed to hear so that I would get this 150,000%. And then she says to me, put your hand in to what's on your left. And I remember there was something sticking out. I put my hand in and then there's a wooden desk. I remember look, touching the wooden desk and I looked at her. And then she said, and that's Pachamama. And I woke up. In that dream, I also had an original elder who was standing behind me. I won't mention his name. So that dream has been in my, seriously, in my space for the last few weeks. It has not left because I honestly feel right now all of us are in that tunnel. All of us, every single person on the planet is in that tunnel. Are you going to be one of those that's going to need to be washed? Or are you going to be one of those that's going to put their clothes on or being given the opportunity to put their clothes on and come back into a place where we return to what I call old way or what the original people call old way? What's old way? Being connected to the earth, being connected to community, living off the land, living in love, yeah, respecting the elements, working with the elements, I don't need to tell you, this is stuff you guys probably already know, but that is what we have signed up for. If you've chosen to stay sovereign and that stuff lights you up, you have to have to go for it. You have to trust in that, okay, because that's the time we're in. And unfortunately, those people who I'm just going to say who are choosing a different path, they're the ones who are going to be washed. Whatever that means, you know, I, I, it's up to interpretation, but that's what, what I was shown in the dream, okay. So... The other part then, remember, was the principle that was Pachamama, that was Mother Earth herself. And I've been working with her quite a bit over the last few weeks. Those who were, who know me, they know that my relationship with her is just becoming more and more profound and I'm so honoured and I trust in her more than anything, anything right now. And if there's anyone driving what's playing out, it is your mother. It is your Earth mother. And I can say that with 100% conviction. All those out there think they're controlling and doing whatever. Yeah, they're doing their thing. I'm not going to say that they're not playing a role, but she's driving. All right. So I just wanted to say that. So are we ready to begin my um, my readings? <laughs> I just don't want to go on too long. There's so much more I could share, but I thought I'd keep it simple to those two dreams for now um, because I just love you all so much and I want to make sure I give enough readings because the readings can take a while, yeah? Um I've had a lot of loss lately, Jen. Yeah, that. well, this is the thing. Sorry, I just saw your comment, Jen. That's absolutely what's going to play out is we are going to lose a lot. We're going to have to let a lot go. It's just the reality. Yeah, it's just the reality. All right, who are the two beautiful people? I'm drawn to you, Sam. Sam Lee, you've just jumped out at me, sister. So Sam, 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 Sam. Let's see who I've got. Oh, I love this. I love this. <laughs> okay. I have a female lioness. So the way this works, Sam, I don't know if you've seen my readings before, but the way it works is the moment I connect with someone, it's like a curtain opens up here on my right-hand side and I have the animals, they step forward, okay? So the first animal that stepped forward uh, for you, Sam, is a female lioness. Let me just see who she wants to, to tell me she is. These readings are just for power animals, guys. It's not for your spirit animal, okay? Spirit animal is the animal you were born with, okay? It's a much more in-depth process. Feel free to check my website, secretanimalwisdom.com, to, to understand that more. But on these readings, I just do the power animals, okay? Okay, so this lioness, she says she's been with you since five years old, uh, Sam. Okay, show me more. She walks on your left-hand side. Protection, beautiful. Okay, so she says she's your protection animal, which I love. I love when the protection animals step forward. Okay, so she walks on your left-hand side. She's been with you since the age of five. She says she's been supporting you and not only having courage, but also um, standing in, there's a part of you that shies away. There's a part of you that that it, it gets withdrawn. But it's like, even though this lion believes in you and obviously your, your guides believe in you and absolutely your higher self would believe in you, there's a part of you that doesn't believe you deserve to be here. There's a part of you that doesn't believe that you deserve to not only, to not only thrive, but also to receive love and to receive love in a way that, I'm not talking like sexual stuff. I'm talking real love, genuine love, connection, yeah? 
there's, there's a part of you that's either resisted it or not believed that you've deserved it. This lioness, who she's phenomenal, okay, she's a big woman, big woman, she's a big cat, okay, she walks with such confidence and wants to remind you that she is the leader of her pride, okay. Sometimes the male, the male uh, lions think that they, I'm going to say, own the pride. Well, based on research, by the way, it's actually the females that lead the pride. This is for this this specific female lioness, though, she is the leader of your pride, meaning she wants you to embody this. She wants you to start to step into your own form of leadership and trust that you have all that it takes to be that leader. There's just a part of you that's really hesitated because of something that happened at the age of five, okay? Um, but what she wants to share with you is not only protection, okay, because what I see with her walking beside you, and this is all you have to do, by the way, to access her power, is see her there. Because when you connect in, when you see her, right, I'm not saying like the, with these eyes, with this eye, okay, when you see her there, you are giving her energy. You give her energy, she shares her power. That's the exchange with the power animals, okay? So she just wants you to see her there walking beside you, and you can do this any anytime, anytime, anywhere, but the moment you do that, she can protect your field. She can also start to share, which she's been trying to do since the age of five, but it's been unconscious. She can start to share more of that confidence in who you are, more of that, you know, knowing that you've, you're a leader, right, that you've got the ability to lead others and, and show them the way, but also that confidence as a female walking on this earth. This lioness has your back, okay? So just connect in with her. You can do this as often as you like. Like I said, there's no right or wrong way of doing this. But at the end of the day, the more you give her energy, the more she can share power. So, you know, some people who used to do readings with me, they invest maybe, I don't know, five minutes and expect a miracle. Yeah, that might be great. But you've got to do this on a regular basis if you really want to re, you know, it's like reigniting at a relationship that's there for you. Why would you not want to give that energy when it's there to support, enhance and really facilitate something amazing for you. All right, Sam, so I hope that's been clear. So that's for you, beautiful lady. Uh, I will get onto questions in a minute. That was for you, Sam. Let me see. I seen a female lioness in my mind's eye a while back. She was blue, though, with Celtic type markings. Would this be connected to you? Well, it's not connected to me, Sam. This is actually your lioness, okay? So the way the lioness came to me, she was a traditional color. But what happens with our power animals, they do all sorts of things. I've had people had have, you know, snakes where they change the patterns every time I look at it, okay? It is that lioness. She's been coming to you in different ways. So I, I'm happy to work through, reach out to me if you want to explore that further, but that lioness is the same lioness, okay? She's never left you. She's been with you since the age of five. Okay, so let me jump to someone on Instagram just to be fair, who have I got? Oh, oh, so many beautiful people. Alison, Alison, Alison. Yes, Alison. Alison, you've followed me for ages, gorgeous lady. I'll definitely want to do a reading for you, sister. All right, let's see who comes through. Alison. Beautiful content, by the way, Alison on Instagram. <laughs> Shit. Every time I get this animal, <laughs> I'm like hoping for it to be something else, but <laughs> guess what? It's a spider. But sometimes when people get the spiders, they're like, what? Anyway, you've seen my readings before, Alison. So, all right, so we have a spider. Let me see what this spider has got to say. This is not a tarantula. It's got really skinny legs, really skinny legs. And a, all right, thank you. Do you know what, Alison, it's got the same body as our red back okay but it's not a red back because the abdomen's completely black so i don't know where you are if you've got a spider that looks like a black widow because that's essentially what the red back is so this is a black widow black widow spider okay so to describe her <laughs> so to describe her she's got these skinny legs but a really big chunky ball of an abdomen okay and it's all jet black all right so Damn, she says the same thing. She's been with you since the age of five. Yeah, okay, awesome. So not only is she your protection animal, but she's been supporting you. This is really cool. She's been supporting you in navigating the web and creating your own webs, okay? This is cool because sometimes when I get people who've got spiders, they don't 
go down the web path, right? It depends. Sometimes it's about the eyes. Sometimes it's, you know, about their presence. It's completely different. With you, specifically, this spider is it's about her web and about you and your webs that you create with the power that she's been giving you, right? So why this is super cool is she's got she's got <laughs> she's got a power that you don't want to mess with, right? So when it comes to the webs that she's been supporting you in creating, it's about you stepping into, and this is you've had this access access to this since the age of five, right? But it's about you having this really strong conviction that what you create is so on point, is so in your truth, and it's so in alignment with not only that female creation energy, absolutely creation, it's just you've had her backing you doing that, okay? So now that you know that she's there, oh, my God, I've got chills. Now that you know that she's there, Alison, you can actually converse with her. You can talk to her, ask her to show you when you are creating or thinking or, you know, wanting to, to bring forth something in your experience or wanting to physically create something, whatever it is, check in with her because she's got insights she wants to share with you along the way. Up until now, it's been, you know, those gentle nudges or, you know, she would have been planting seeds or whatever it is. They work differently with different people depending on your gifts. But she's there certainly supporting you in how you create, period. Now, as far as um, how she protects you, I'm just waiting for her to show you, show me. Okay, beautiful. So it is at the back of the neck. <laughs> Often the spider people have got the back of the neck. Okay, so that's where she sits. So she says in order for you to access protection, you just need to see her literally at the back of your neck. And in those moments, your field is solid, my love, solid. Okay, so it doesn't matter what someone throws at you. It doesn't matter what words come at you. It's the same with you, Sam, with, with your lioness. You connect in with your protection animals. Your energy field in those moments, solid as a rock, things just bounce off you, yeah? And then the universe will meet you where you're at. So if you're feeling SHIT, damn, work with your protection animal because that helps not only shift your vibration, but it also gives you that confidence knowing that whatever situation you're in, whatever conversation you're about to have, whatever, you know, place you're about to be, those animals are protecting you or, you know, Sam with the, the lioness, you with the spider are protecting you so that you can navigate more powerfully and not be interfered with, yeah, not have that psychic energy coming at you or at least interfering with how you respond. You can be you, yeah, you can be freaking you. All right, so I hope that helped. I've got goosebumps. Yay! I love that, Alison. Had a number of spiders in the last few days and watched web spun. You're awesome. Thanks for the validation. Okay, so those were the two readings. Let me just answer any questions. Um, please throw them at me, guys. I'm here for you. I really am here for you because it's so freaking not an easy time and I just want you to know you're not alone. You are so not alone. Uh, all right, let's go through some questions. Oh, sorry, Jen, you were asking about the spirit animal. Yes, yeah, so the spirit animal is the animal you were born with. So I don't actually do those readings on here because they require a much more in-depth process to be fully integrated. So if you do want to know your spirit animal, you're more than welcome to reach out to me for a reading. I do them um, online. Uh, let's see. I'm in tune with other things and gifts getting stronger. Absolutely. This is what's so cool about these times, yeah? We're so signed up to be here. Not a coincidence. You all know that. But also our inherent gifts are now coming forward. They have to. They seriously have to. This is why we're here. So I love hearing that. Uh, six people in 10 months. Oh, wow. I'm so sorry to hear that, Jen. Yeah, well, that's the thing. A lot of people and animals are checking out, you know, because there's just, you know, if you were to look at where we were even a year ago, the vibration of this space is completely different. It is so freaking low, it's not funny, but it is designed for us to navigate through that space and thrive, okay, because we've got the goods. Those that have chosen a different reality, unfortunately, it's not that they didn't have the goods, it's just they, let's just say, they made different choices and some are choosing to check out. It's a, it's a tough road. It's a tough road. There's no way of sugarcoating that. I quit drinking last year and as my brain is regenerating, my gifts are getting stronger and I could use some guidance. Jen, happy to support you. Seriously, happy to support you. This is the thing. Like I mentioned about the food thing at the start, look, I've had a food addiction my whole life. It's been my comfort, okay? I've not been addicted to drugs. I've not been addicted to alcohol or cigarettes. It's been freaking food and I'll own that 100%, okay? All of us, all of us, unless you're freaking so on it, have some form of an addiction. Why? It's because we've always need to turn to something for comfort because on some level, a lot of us don't want to feel those 
freaking tough emotions when we have to navigate stuff. And it's not always conscious either, okay? It's just we've got to go to to feel better. So I'm happy to support you, Jen. Seriously, if you want to reach out to me, please do. Beautiful. Um, hey, One Bear, so glad to have you here. Uh, let's see, let's see. Welcome, everybody. Uh, I'm just going through all the comments. I've chosen to be alone for a while now. Hey, look, this is the thing. I've been a single mum for, for quite a few years, and it's by choice. It's really by choice because I knew I wanted to get my shit together and I wanted to be there for my twins, yeah? But it's it's so needed right now for us to get our shit done. That's it. Can't Can't escape our shit. You just can't. You can try to, but it'll make it harder and harder for you to uh, thrive in the times that we're in. Um, sorry, my comments are doing weird stuff. Come back. All right. Let me just see. Um, sorry, I'm just going through all the comments. Donnie, going through the toughest time and hardest thing in my life. Anything for me? Oh, sweet, sweetheart. Look, on, on here, I, I won't do any more readings, Donnie, but please feel free to reach out to me. I'm so here to support those that are having it tough right now because I know what it's like. A, I know what's playing out there right now. I'm not saying I know all the truths out there. No. And in fact, part of me doesn't want to know. But what I do know is that we're here to support each other. And I'm happy to hold that light and inspire and keep people accountable so that we can stay on track. Okay. We were designed to be communal beings. We were designed to be in relationships and we were designed to be connected Okay, so if you're feeling isolated or you're feeling alone or you're struggling, please reach out to me. Uh, a lot of frogs, toads here. I love that. Do you know that the, the activity my twins had to do this morning was all about frogs? All about frogs because that's, that's where we're at. It's all about cleansing at the moment. Absolutely. Any tips to heighten my intuition sensitivity? Do you know where I'd start with that? I'd start with lighting a fire. Why? is because that is where at least you know you'll get purity. There's so much going on out here, yeah, that just, just takes us away from being present. When you're with the fire, you are present. And so it just it creates a space, okay? It creates a space for you to sit with and really ask those questions. And, I mean, there's so much more I can share with this, but really start with the fire, my love. Donnie, 11-year-old, oh, on drive home from family about Friday, pronounced. Won't get final results. Oh, Donnie, I'm so sorry to hear. Look, I'd love to support you with that. If you want to reach out to me, Donnie, because I know that's not easy. I know that's not easy, my love. You're amazing for showing up. That's what I can say. So please do reach out to me. I'm really sorry for your loss. Um, and, you know, what, what I love about this work, honestly, is when that curtain opens, that curtain opens for animals, but I do also work with people on the other side, okay? So I'm more than happy to support you, Donnie. Please do reach out to me, my love. You are not alone. You don't need to suffer in silence. Nobody needs to suffer in silence, especially right now. Definitely not. So I'm just going through all my comments on Instagram. Um, see if there's anyone I need to... Thank you, Alison. <laughs> Always here to support, beautiful. Mind light, I'm dreaming about a sparrow. Awesome. Do you know what's cool about sparrows? Well, sparrows are always able to find the breadcrumbs, right? Where do you see sparrows most of the time? Where there's food or where, you know, people are, are especially, I mean, with here in, in where we live in Australia, wherever you have picnic tables, wherever you go outside where there's scraps, you will always find sparrows. Sparrows have an inherent gift in finding the breadcrumbs. And what do I mean by breadcrumbs? It's about the thing that's going to nourish you next. Okay. So have a have you know try and process what is that sparrow showing you about the next breadcrumbs that you need to look at in your life. I was in the bush and we came across grey kangaroos and kookaburras. It was so good. I love that, Casper. I love that. Seriously, the animals are on fire. The animals, which are her messengers, what did I say? Mother Earth, sorry, I'm pointing to the wrong direction. Mother Earth, she's the one driving, so the animals are driving, yeah? Yes, I know there's a lot of stuff that is difficult for people when it comes to the animals, but she is driving and she will use the, the animals to support people, yeah? The animals are her family, are her children, just like we are. They all came from her. The ones that are actually born here, they all came from her. Uh, sending you loads of love and comfort during your trans. Thank you, Alison. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Hey, Catherine. 
Awesome. So I think I think that's it. Uh, Lee, can you see anything for me, please? Oh, Lee, I've I've done the readings, my love. Look, I do. I will be doing these every Tuesday, like I have been, but um, I've done all the readings for now. But what I will say, okay, is like I said at the beginning, if you've chosen to be sovereign, if you've chosen to let's just say listen to your soul listen to your heart and do what feels right for you it may not be what friends around you are saying it may not be what your community is saying it may not be what definitely not what social media and the media is saying but it's what you feel is right for you trust that okay really trust that because each of us right now have it's like we have um have a challenge i'm going to keep it simple we have a challenge ahead we have the toughest time in human history right now in our face. And it required us to stay sovereign. It required us to not buy the story so that we could come back into our gifts, but also stay in our hearts. I, okay, I'll quickly share this. I had an experience quite a few weeks, I think it's a couple of months now, um, again with Mother Earth, and it was in a very profound TP ceremony. And in this ceremony, she showed me that it all comes down to the heart. It all comes down to the heart. And not just that, because the water, which is our blood, the water is so sacred, our blood is so sacred, we must feel the emotions, we must go there. We really must go to the depths of what we need to feel to not only shift, but be in the heart. If you try and suppress those emotions by the addictions we have, or you try and, you know, disconnect by plugging on TV or, you know, going and, I'm going to say, have addictions with, with sex or whatever it is, whatever it is for you. If you try and switch off what you need to feel, you're disconnecting from here. You're disconnecting from here. And this is what's going to be leading us forward because not only does this have its own intelligence, your heart has got its own intelligence, okay? It's got its own network separate to the brain. But this is where all the wisdom is. And it's requiring you, incredible people, you're on this call for a reason. It's requiring you to own it. Own that heart of yours. Own that power of yours. Like you've never owned it before because you are not alone in this, but it's requiring seriously discipline. It's requiring discipline. There's no sugar coating, guys. There's no sugar coating. If you were meant to be some somebody who's just gonna sit back and relax and hope the world goes by, great. But you've made a decision to stay sovereign. You've made a decision to do what you feel is right for you and actually for humanity. You will get that support, 100% you'll get that support, but it's gonna take, um, it's going to take discipline. It's going to take you doing things in a way that you've never done before, okay? And that's why I'm here to support, especially the women. I love working with the women because that just, it's like I'm working with sisters. So, But I love men as well. Don't get me wrong, but I love working with the women. So if you are struggling, I implore you, reach out to me. I will hold your hand and I'll make sure just with you, I will make sure that we get there because we're so freaking not designed to fail in this mission um sam i agree my soul says we need to go back to nature away from society and to keep my kids safe from what's going here in oz at the moment you know what honor that absolutely i don't see myself in the city for much longer i'm just in here because this is where i need to evolve and, and experience what i need to experience but that's exactly it you've got to trust those hunches trust them yes it's a new way forward we all mind light absolutely it's a new way forward and it is going to be the way forward where we will thrive, yeah? It's just we've got quite a few bumps on the road and it's gonna get it's gonna get hard. It's gonna get hard, we're gonna be shut out from many things and fuck that, seriously, fuck that. If that's what needs to play out for this masculine paradigm to fall apart, so be it. Who do you choose? You choose you, you choose your children, you choose nature, mother earth, you choose the animals, you choose your family, those that are on the same page. It's gonna take even some of us saying, you know, I'm not going to say say goodbye to family members, but not all family members are on the same page. We chose the family members we did, but it requires you, again, to really choose what is what is in here. Stay in there. Really stay in there. I get emotional sometimes talking about this because it's so hard right now. Like it's so freaking hard and they want to break us, okay? They want to break you guys. They want your children. They want to break people. And we are so bigger than this. We are so much more capable than what we have realised and we are coming back into those awarenesses. And because not only 
do you know whoever's a mother out there you know what you want for your children you know what you want for the future generations the work we do is for the next seven generations guys it's not just for us it's for the next seven generations so of course we signed up for this and of course you've got the goods you all have got the freaking goods so that's my two cents for tonight <laughs> I'm just going to see if I've got anything else that I um, have written here. Oh, yeah. Like I said before to the other lovely lady, sit with the fire. If you can, make yourself a fire. You know, I live in a small place with a small courtyard. I bought this little fire pit just so I can make the fire with my boys. It is such medicine because the fire will not BS to you, okay? The fire is so pure, just like water, but water is a different dance right now. Fire is impenetrable, okay? And so you'll sit there with an original shaman, you're sitting right there and watch it. It will show you things, it will say things to you, it will awaken things in you. You've got an inner fire, remind yourself of that. The fire is gonna do that for you, yeah? If you're feeling shit, sit with a freaking fire. If you're going through stuff, sit with a freaking fire. Can't say that enough. Oh, thank you, always here, guys, always here. Reach out to me, I'm always here, guys. I have a fire pit. Go, Karen. You rock. Well done. Work with our ancestors. Absolutely work with your ancestors. All your, all the ancestors, this is the thing, the ancestors of the land and your ancestors, they're around us because they want us to get this. They really want us to get this. I can laugh about it, but it's not laughable. It is so freaking serious, but we have so got this, guys. We've so got this. So thank you so much for coming on this live. Yeah, I'm, I'm so freaking motivated. I've just come off the fast. I won't say that the fast was easy, but the insights were incredible. And this is a non-negotiable path for me. So like I've said probably a million times, if you are struggling, reach out to me. I will help keep you accountable and I will support you and I will not let you drown, okay? Because we're fucking not meant to drown. <laughs> we are so not meant to drown. Bloody hell. They want to break us. And you know, sorry, I'll say this as well. Um, please post, I missed some. What was that? Holtum and I don't know what you're talking about. It's the traumatic laughing for me. Yeah, it's the traumatic laughing. That's exactly what it is. It is such a fucked up reality right now. You want to sugarcoat it? You can't, okay? It is fucked up and it's going to get more fucked up, okay? Sorry for the swearing. I don't swear, but I do, all right? So knowing it is completely fucked up, what are you going to choose? Are you going to choose you? Great. Choose your heart. Navigate from there. Forget all this bullshit out there. Switch off TV because that's just a no-show. But sit with a fire. Sit with your mother. Your mother has got the goods, okay? You've got the goods and it's got to be non-negotiable. Thank you, Alison. You took the words out of my mouth. Love you with all my heart. All right, beautiful people. Have an amazing night. I hope I've inspired you. Um, what a time. Seriously, what a time. I know there's something incredible on the other side. Like I said, I saw the old way school. I saw it, okay? That is what's in our future. That possibility is coming. But how do we get there? We've got to get rid of our shit. It's completely fucked up. Absolutely. Thank you. It is completely fucked up. You cannot say it isn't. <laughs> and if you did, you'd be in denial. Whoever thinks this is normal and whoever thinks it's okay to get something like this and think it's okay and just, anyway, that's a whole separate story. But whoever's bought the story, I'm sorry. I feel sorry. Like my heart hurts. My heart really hurts. I hope that you discover the truth. I hope that you can come back to here and realize we all were meant to love each other. We're not meant to have any hate. You're so beautiful. Oh. <laughs> thank you, Facebook user. I don't know your name, but thank you so much. Anyway, that's a beautiful comment to leave on. Thank you so much, guys. I love you all. See you next week. Look after yourselves out there, okay? Look after yourselves. We've got this. Take care, beautifuls. Take care, everyone.